All right, so in this one, we're going to talk about using FTP with our Web Faction account. Now, what FTP is going to allow us to do is actually grab our data directly from the server and use it with just grabbing the files in a way that's kind of like dragging and dropping um, on your desktop. So from one folder to another, because it really works very similar to that. Um, an FTP client, so a way to do FTP, one of them is called Cyberduck. This is a free one. It's open source. Um, it's pretty good. We've used it quite a bit in the past, um, and it works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So for most of you, you might want to check this one out. Uh, if you're a more advanced user and you want to use, um, well, basically a, a more powerful FTP client, Transmit is one of those that's really good. Um, and you can buy it. Um, it is something that is not free, but it is a great FTP client if you're considering jumping to a little bit higher level. Um, now, this one is what we will actually be using, but the concepts are the same on either Cyberduck or um, using Transmit from Panic. Um, all right, so now that we've got that out of the way, I'm back into my Web Faction control panel, and I noticed something on our website here. Um, our application was not actually added to it, so I'm going to go ahead and add it now. First off, I'll add the MVP LAN Django application, and now that's showing that, and then I'll add the static application, which is MVP static, and all we need to do at the end of that is add static. There we go. We hit save, and there we go. So now we've got those two things running. And CFE deploy.webfactional is now showing us our Django power page. Cool. So we should have seen this in the last one, but the settings just didn't save. And now that they have, uh, we can now see that, hey, look, we have our Django power page up and running. Okay, cool. So now open up Transmit or Cyberduck and navigate to SFTP because this is going to be a secure tr file transfer protocol is what that stands for. Um, just like we did the secure shell, so SSH, we are doing a secure file transfer protocol. And the domain is very simple. So it's CFE deploy. So your username dot webfactional.com. And then your username. So CFE deploy. And then in or in our case, it's CFE deploy. And then your password, whatever that is. And make sure that you get this right. You can get locked out of your account if you're doing this incorrectly too many times. Uh, SFTP is one of those examples of that. Port is going to be 22. And if you do get locked out of your account, just go to support and open up a ticket and they will help you out there. Um, all right. So anyways, let's go ahead and connect. And as this is loading, we see the exact same stuff we did on our secure shell. So I have the secure shell open. If I list everything out, I see everything is more or less the same there as it was before. So if I go into web apps, I see that I have a few different things. MVP landing is an old one that I'm actually going to delete. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and it's going to delete that for me. Um, but as far as our our the one that we're working with is MVP land, and my project is what we are going to have to edit. Um, so to do this, there's a few things that we actually need to do to make sure that our project is the one that's going to be working. But before I even jump into that, I'm just going to add our project in. So I'm going to go onto our desktop navigate to try Django 18, which is our project. And what we need here is just our source. So that's the only thing that we need here. So I'm going to drag this in and I dragged in our source document here. And if you open this up a little bit, you'll see that it's actually, well, it's deleting one and then it's uploading another in my case. On yours, you'll just be uploading one. Um, so it's going to actually upload our entire project here and it's going to upload our, our static, right? So the static that we used, our templates, um, and also our main settings folder or configuration folder, which is try Django 18 and then our app and all that. Um, so while this is happening, I'm going to go ahead and pause it while it uploads and then I'll be right back once it's finished. Okay. So my project completely uploaded. Uh, it's still deleting the other one and we are also going to delete the, my project right here. So source is our project. My project is the one that was created by web faction. So we're going to go ahead and delete this one. So go ahead and just delete it. Um, you can also delete it in the command line. So if you listed things out here, you could change into web apps and you could do um, so CD MVP land, which is what we're working on. You could do uh, remove file RF or and then grab the folder that you would want to remove. So the other one was MVP land. That would be another MVP land, that would be another way to do it as well. 
from the command line. Okay, so since that's happening, we are gonna do another thing. So inside of our try Django folder, I'm gonna create a brand new folder in here and I'm gonna call it live or web faction. I'll just call it web faction. Um, so inside of web faction, we are gonna add a new file and that's related to Apache 2. So inside of Apache 2 on our live server, notice web apps versus our local one. And we wanna go in here and we wanna change our configuration to this. So let's open up conf and then bring over httpd.conf. That is the configuration that we actually wanna change. And to change it, we'll, we'll see what we need to do. So first off, I wanna change into source, src, and then just type out pwd. This is giving us the path directly to source. Um, so now that we've got that, let's go into our actual project and, and get that, that HTTP conf, this right here. And we wanna see this actually uh, in, inside of Sublime Text. So I'm gonna reveal it in Finder, um, or you could just navigate to your folder and actually find it itself. And then I'm gonna drag this into my um, Sublime Text so I can actually edit what's going on here. So this is all of the settings for Apache for this project. Now something we should note here is we have quite a few things here. So we've got our logs here. So for all the different logs that are related to this project are gonna go inside of this path, which if you need to know how to navigate to it, um, this is the path that we're currently in. So you could figure out how to navigate from there. Uh, but the main thing here is the app that we're actually working with. So web apps MVP land, that's correct. Right, so MVP land, but instead of my project, it's actually SRC, which is what we're working with. MVP land lib is fine, but wherever it says my project, where it did, we want to change it to SRC. So definitely the first one. So if we see my project anywhere else, um, then we also want to change that. So right here is SRC. And then my project right here is not my project anymore. Uh, it's going to be the name of our configuration folder. So inside of our desktop, we'll just take a look at that configuration folder. So SRC and then try Django 18. Um, so it's try Django 18 is this one. So try Django 18. All right, so that is all of the settings that we had to do. Um, so I'm gonna kind of do this again. So I'm gonna undo everything just so you can see exactly what's going on. And I'll redo it also through seeing the project itself. So let's go back into MVP land. Now, a second ago, we had a folder in here called My Project. We deleted that folder and we moved over SRC a while back, right? SRC is our project, right? That's our Django project. So whenever Django creates a project, it creates the top level folder, the project folder is gonna be the same name as the configuration folder, right? So in the case of the other one, it was My Project and My Project. In our case, it's Source and Try Django 18. So when we go back into the settings of HTTP conf, we want to change everywhere of the first my project example. So right here, and uh, we want to change that to SRC because that's what we change it as. So SRC, SRC, and then SRC. And then the second my project, we just want to do try Django 18, right? Okay, so that's what you need to do for the HTTP conf. And now if we take a look at this right here, this is taking us to a specific file, which is WSGI. So let's have you take a look at that file um, inside of SRC, try Django 18, and then we see WSGI here, right? So we have WSGI here. So this is it right here. And if you were following along on their documentation, which they do have, they have this documentation available too, but some of it's a little bit older. So, um, the main part of it is just, this is what we just did right here, was configuring Django. But the WSGI part, this is what we just changed, right? We wanna make sure that you have that changed, otherwise you will find errors. Okay, so now that we have the Sublime Text all set up with HTTP conf, we can now take the new one, or the one that we edited, which was inside of Web Faction, and we can bring this over into our conf on the live server. So from our local server to the live one, we're gonna drag this in and we are gonna to want to replace it. We're gonna say, yes, replace. So this is replacing that file and it's gonna happen relatively quick because it's a small one. 
um, and it's still deleting this old app, but that's okay. All right, so now we've replaced it. We won't really need to use that ever again because uh, we've already set it. It's already set. We don't really need to do anything else um, with the HTTP conf stuff. If you're a more advanced user, you might need to, but for us, uh, we don't need to do anything else there. But what we need to do is set up our production.py file. Um, so production.py has to do with our database um, as well as how um, it's going to be perceived on the production server. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of base.py and go into production.py and paste this stuff in. Um, so there's a few things that we want to change. And the first thing is going to be our database. So everything for our database is going to have to change. I'm going to pause this for just a second because I need to change certain things on here and then also add in a way to grab my own password for it. Okay, so I've now updated our database settings here um, to match what our database will be. So we are using PostgreSQL. Um, so if you are using MySQL, you would change that to MySQL. Um, and then if you need any reference as far as the databases are concerned, you could just log in to um, this site right here, or this page right here, and that will give you all the references for setting your databases uh, within Django. And like I said, uh, this is essentially what we're doing. We don't, according to Web Faction, we don't need to set the host and port. Um, if we have to set it, we will see that once we actually get live. Um, so now we've got this production server going, or the production code going. Uh, we're going to scroll up and change debug to being false. And then allowed hosts, we are going to put in our web factional site. So this right here, we don't need the .com, or I mean the HTTP, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. All we need is CFE deploy .web factional. All right, so this is going to be our production code. Um, so uh, this is obviously going to be a production secret, so you'd want to actually change that code. Uh, I'm not going to change it at this point. I'll change it later. Uh, but now that we have this stuff, it's pretty much ready as far as our production code is concerned. So what I'm going to do now is go on my base.py and change debug to being false. And then in production, I'm going to actually do some stuff in here for changing everything on how it is. So I'm going to just select everything, tab it in once, and then I'm going to import, although from django.conf, import settings, and then I'll say if settings debug so if not settings debug then do all this all right so local settings debugs are on there right production not on there so if the base says that it's false then production will work so in init.py production will never override our local uh, when we're working in the local environment however when we're on the production environment we're going to remove the local file, and that will work. And if I scroll all the way down uh, to my database, what you're going to do, the only difference that you're going to do here is you're not going to be importing anything here. That's not necessary for you. Instead, you're just going to be setting your password here. And again, this is something you don't need to change with or share with anybody. And if other people have access to this production code, you can do something just like this, which I just made a literally one Python file uh, with DB pass as set equals um, in that file, it just says db pass equals to my password, right? Uh, not obviously not that, but anyways, okay, cool. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and update our code a little bit um, using transmit. So inside of our source, we're gonna go to try Django 18, and we're gonna go into settings here. And just like on, on our other one, on our local one, we will also go into settings, try Django 18. First off, I'm going to delete the local.py file inside of this settings one. Um, so once we, let's go ahead and drag that into the trash can. So we want to delete those. All right. And now our new, we want to just bring in base, db password for mine, and then production. We're going to drag this one over and apply to all. We want to replace all of them. So we'll go ahead and replace those. And it should be fairly quick, yes. So the other one's still loading. All right, so now that we've got that, uh, we should be able to actually go into our terminal. We'll list everything out. So we have our secure shell still going. And if it kind of freezes or isn't going very fast, 
All that means is we had a timeout so we can um, go ahead and close the terminal and just open up a new one. And we can SSH now again into CFE deploy at CFE deploy dot web factional dot com and then enter in our password all right so entered in CD web apps CD MVP land and we'll do dat dot slash Apache two slash bin slash restart so that's a quick way to restart the server but I also want to change into the source so in here, this is where we want to do the some Python stuff. I'm going to do Python, and I'm going to just type it out. I want you to note right off the bat, it says Python 2.6, which is not the version of Python we're using. So what you have to do is every time you're using Python commands here, you're going to do Python 2.7, and that way it defaults to 2.7. So we can exit out of that. So Python 2.7 now, manage.py. And since we have a new server, we are going to do migrate. So we're creating the new server. Notice it now says we cannot load module crispy forms. Well, that's okay. Um, so all that means is we need to go into our virtual environment. So we're gonna CD into desktop, and then we're gonna CD into try Django 18. We're gonna do source bin slash activate. So we're activating the virtual environment here. And I'm going to CD into source, and I'll do pip freeze into requirements.txt. And this is putting the requirements, so everything within the app is going right there, as you see here. So this is how the app is actually gonna be run, um, and those are the, all the requirements to our Django project. So now that I have that, I can pull up my um, project again, source, and source, and then just drag this requirements file over and now that I have that requirements file over here, I can go back into the, the actual project itself, list it out, and we see it. So now I can do pip install dash r and requirements.txt. So this is gonna install the requirements if pip was actually installed. So we're actually gonna stop here and install pip in the next one for WebFaction so we can actually do pip commands just like this. So if you have any questions on this so far, let us know. Um, otherwise, let's keep going. Hopefully, this is you're able to keep up with everything because um, this stuff is fairly straightforward. If you are getting lost, though, you can just do a quick search for Google or on Google, do Django Web Faction, and you can search on Django Web Factional, and they they have a install video too. Um, of course, it's not going to be exactly like ours, but then they have all this other stuff for creating this database and configuring it and you could go through all this if you wanted to as well. Hopefully by now you understand enough of this that this works out fine for you. Uh, one thing that we still of course haven't done was the synchronizing static files, but we wanna get pip working first before we can actually get this going. All right, so if any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.